groups. Let me go back to your response on certification. One of the things that intrigues me, Mr. Secretary, is why do we treat education, teachers, different than we do any other certified profession? If you were today to go to your doctor, and you needed an operation. He gave you to someone who said, well, I'm just getting the hang of this. I haven't really gotten my MD degree, but I'm gonna do this a good job on you. If you had a court case, you went to a lawyer who had not passed the bar, you would certainly not want them to pursue your case. If you got on a plane, and the pilot said, you know, this is my, I'm, I'm, I'm a pilot for America. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm doing a good job. I'm just getting the hang of this, but I'll get you there safely. We wouldn't accept that. But for teachers, it's okay not to be certified. For teachers, it's okay not to reach the standard. Why is that acceptable, Mr. Secretary? Because we don't force the student to go to that lawyer. Because we don't, we force the student to go to that school. We don't certify professors at, at post-secondary institutions. But we okay. set up a different standard. I mean, yeah, we're, we, either you're either teaching as a profession we, or teaching is not a profession. We do plain and simple. Because the, if if the if the teachers in a post-secondary institution, if the professors of the post-secondary institution are inferior quality, the students will not come. If lawyers continually lose it before there or do not serve the interests of the client time after time after time their clients go away schools never lose students and when students leave because of population shifts we they still demand one thing more than anything else more money that's why we have certification requirements in place. I have issues with cert certain certification issues. I think we should have the ability to bring a really sharp 45-year-old chemist into a high school classroom and making sure that that student's experience, that that really sharp chemistry practitioner, but our certification requirements create a wall sometimes. I think we have, that's a little bit too rigid. I'm looking for more flexibility in our traditional K-12 public education establishment. Unfortunately, too many people say they don't even want that flexibility for the traditional K-12 public education establishment. So I agree with your concerns about certification, but the basic premise of your, of, of my, and my, the basic response that I have is that they don't need to go there. 